uh, super good productions here, and I thought I'd finally sh do a video showing you guys how my uh, Game Boy Color TI-83 Plus calculator worked. And um, the reason I'm doing this is because ever since I made the video, I got a lot of questions on how it worked, and I finally got a personal message. And I figured since I was getting back into electronics, I'd give you guys a little how-to. So um, I've already unscrewed it and everything and um, undone the screen, but uh, basically first off, the first main thing you, uh, you can see is I moved the battery pack. Basically, I just removed the Game Boy Color coils, and then this battery pack is from Radio, Radio Shack, and just wired it straight up to the ground and to the positive. Um, actually, buying from Radio Shack, I don't really recommend. They kind of overprice their stuff usually. Just go to eBay. I promise it's much better. And then um, we have this part of the calculator, which is just the buttons, the button pad, and the screen. The, the Game Boy Color screen is on top of a plastic uh, screen for the calculator, and it's just uh, electrical tape down. Nothing special here, no wires, no nothing. Super easy. And try and play with this as minimally as possible, because I had to spend like five minutes picking up those buttons just earlier. Uh, okay, so to the calculator Game Boy part. Now, it may look a little scary, but I promise this is some easy, easy stuff. Now, let me kind of get it to where you guys can see everything. Okay, so here's the calculator. I mean, not the calculator, the Game Boy. Game Boy motherboard. And um, so, first off, I guess I'll show you how I soldered to the motherboard. Basically, the left side of the up and down buttons and the top sides of the right and left buttons, just solder wires to. Uh, left sides of both the A and B, and then the middle top lefts for the start and select. So that's eight wires in all for all the buttons, and then this one wire here is soldered directly to the ground uh, that the battery goes to. So basically, that's nine wires in all you're gonna you have to solder from the Game Boy Color. So not that bad, right? No, just nine wires. So, um, okay, my wiring's are kind of a mess because I did this years ago, but uh, basically let's take the uh, top D-pad button, for example. So from the Game Boy Color, you're going to take that button wire and you're going to solder it to the top button for the D-pad, assuming this is the button you want. This is the D-pad of the calculator. Uh, I definitely recommend using it because it's easy. So, um, you take that and solder it to the top part of this button, and then that ground wire I showed you from the Game Boy Color is this red wire right here. And this red wire is going into a pin on the calculator right there. So you, it's soldered onto the calculator board through one of these little copper pins. And what that does is it connects ground to the bottom portion of this button, and whenever you push the button, it connects the ground to this wire, thus giving the Game Boy a ground signal, and that's how it determines its uh, buttons being pushed. So as soon as you wire these two buttons, these two wires, I mean, this button is functional. And the cool thing about doing the ground wire to this specific pin is this pin, um, its traces in the calculator actually send it to every single one of the D-pad buttons. So if you wire the ground here, uh, the up button to here, the right button to here, down to here, and the left to here. All four of these D-pad buttons are functional as soon as you do that. So five wires, four buttons, pretty easy. And um, so this ground wire also has a trace going to this uh, pin right here. I think, eh, let me look at it. Yeah, it's a pin next to this gold one. It's not this pin right here, it's the one next to it. So you have ground going through there, down t to this button. If you solder it to here, then the ground will travel through these traces to uh, this side of this button, and to the, this side of this button. And I use these as the start and the back. So from the Game Boy Color, um, this, goes, this wire right here is going to the start button, this one's going to the back button, and these are now functional as soon as you connect it to here. So, this, uh, remember this is ground, and it's coming from up there, so it's coming down here, and then this is ground also, uh, it's another pin that I used coming from this trace, and bring it over here. And, uh, so this is going to take another trace through the calculator, and it's going to go to this one, I believe, this pad right here, and it's going to go up to here. 
This is the alpha button, and I use this for the B button. So this part has ground, and then uh, for the B button on the calculator, I mean on the Game Boy, is this green wire. And it's going to this little trace right here, which is going into this button. You can solder it to where I have the solder here. I guess I moved it. I can't remember why. But um, yeah, you can solder right there, and that'll be a working B button. Okay, so the ground trace, like I said, is going through here, through this trace, and then up. And then it actually goes past this one all the way and ends up there. Let's see if I can get a focus. Yeah, ends right there. And uh, so I had to do another wire for ground from that trace down to this one. And that final one will take it to the bottom portion of this button, which is the second button, which I used for my A button on the calculator. I mean on the Game Boy. So the A button for the Game Boy goes here, B there, back there, start there, and then the D-pad. And then that's it. That is all the wiring I did for this uh, Game Boy. So um, it's a really good beginner's project, actually. A lot of people may, might not think that. The hardest part of this is <laughs> the case modification, guaranteed. It took me a while to get it to all fit together. But um, yeah, I hope this helped whoever wants to make one of these. Um, like I said, buy everything from eBay, <laughs> including the calculator. The Game Boy, the battery pack, the wires, literally everything from eBay. It's the best website ever. Um, so yeah, I figured this is uh, pretty detailed. If not, then uh, I guess message me or post something in the comments. Someone will be happy to help, hopefully. So yeah, uh, there you go. Game Boy Color TI-83+.